finally, the moment you guys have all been waiting for. Creating your first Bing Ads campaign. I hope you guys enjoyed the drum roll. So you guys are probably thinking, finally, it's about time. Uh, it just goes to show you how much you have to put in before you even create your first campaign if you want to be successful with affiliate or CPA marketing. The more time you put into your landing pages and setting up your tracking properly before you create your very first Bing Ads account, the more successful you're going to be. You definitely got to put your time in, build a landing page, get everything set up properly, get your tracking links set up, test them out, make sure that your redirect path is working and that your click ID ended up in your S2 if you're using Max Bounty, which ours did. Now we can finally start our Bing Ads campaign. To start out, all you got to do is go to campaigns, create campaign. Now they'll have a lot of options for what's the goal of this campaign? Is it visits to your website, your visits to my business locations, conversions in my website, phone calls, dynamic search ads, sell your products? We're gonna go visits to our website. And by the way, I made a few minor tweaks to this landing page because <laughs> I figured I wouldn't have it so plain if, uh, since I'm actually gonna set up a campaign for it. All I did was added some bullet points and one thing that I do want to do is copy this sales page link and put it on this image. And all you got to do is paste it right in and then save. So whenever someone clicks the CLA Safflora Oil image, uh, the same thing will happen if they click the button. So a lot of people actually prefer clicking product images versus buttons so that's always one thing that you want to include I'm glad I caught that so anyways I just made a few minor tweaks just added that um, we can create our campaign so what are you first off you just got to name it I'm gonna go CLA I'll just go CLA Safflar oil now campaign budget what do you want your individual budget to be this is totally up to you guys if you have a little more to spend, maybe make your budget $100 a day. If you are on a shoestring budget, $20 a day. Just because you have your budget, let's say, at $70 per day does not mean you're going to actually spend that. But I like having a big budget to start out with with a new campaign to show Bing that I'm actually serious. So I'll go, let's just say 60 That's kind of a happy medium. I doubt I'll actually get to $60 per day. So where do you want your ads to appear? And I need to go to Max Bounty and see which countries they accept. Okay, so I pulled it up and it looks like they accept Canada, Ireland, United Kingdom, and United States. So that's pretty basic, just some tier one countries. So I will type those in. It automatically has it as Canada and US or all available countries. So you have to go let me choose. Go to United States. And then you have to click target in United Kingdom. What were the other ones? Canada and Ireland. Canada and Ireland. And it's pretty cool. They got this cool little map that you can move around and zoom in and see where you're targeting and whatever. And if you want to remove it, you can just click on it right here, but I don't want to. So next, don't overlook this because it says who should see your ad? People in your targeted locations? Yes, we only want them from these four countries. Or people searching for or viewing pages about your targeted locations? No, we do not want that. Because if someone in Australia is searching for... CLA safflower oil in the United States we don't want that ad to show because if they click on it and they buy it like we don't get commission for that because it's not allowed language English good save and go to next step so as you can see there's four sections when you're creating your campaign the campaign settings we just got done with that next ad groups and keywords the third one is ads and ad extensions and then the fourth is budget and bids the ad groups and keywords is a very 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 important section if not the most important section in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Bing keyword planner 
So my actual paid version of the Bing Ads training course that I have, I'm going to show you guys how to use Bing, how to use Google's Keyword Planner to find highly targeted phrases, and then an updated version of my buying related keywords that has been a huge, huge factor for my success in the past few months. And then finally, a very advanced specific keyword phrase finder that I, that I love to use and it works very well. But for this, this is the free training course. I'm going to show you how to use Bing's Keyword Planner, which is still a very effective way to find keywords. So first off, I can enter in my website actually, and they can pull keywords from, uh, from this website actually. So I'm going to, actually I put it right here, get ad group and keyword ideas. So I'm gonna paste that in, take out the spaces, and then it'll pull up keywords from our landing page. So weight loss, this ad group, and you can see the monthly searches, the average cost per click, and then the competition. And as expected, the weight loss ad group is very high. The monthly average cost per click for this is 136. Doesn't mean you have to pay that. It just means, it just means it's the average. So you could still get 50, 30 cent clicks from it, but you won't receive as many clicks because it's so competitive. That is a good one to start with. And one thing I like to do with the Bing Keyword Planner, maybe I want this. So I'm just going to have this weight loss be its whole separate ad group. And then when you click those arrows, it brings it right over here. Ad group name, weight loss. Now, I like to put Bing Sug, which just stands for Bing Suggested. Like I said before in my paid training course, I'm going to show you a whole bunch of ways to get separate ad groups and I'm gonna have a whole bunch of ad group names so when I'm tracking which ad groups are are bringing in the conversions I like to have an ad group token at the end of my tracking link so I know which ad group is actually doing really well so I like to be very organized so that is being suggested and it's just a bunch of weight loss related keywords and now you can go down here and click add another ad group and for this one, I'm going to label it Bing Sug Bulk. So for this one, I'm planning on putting in a bunch of these separate ad groups into one, and I'll show you how to do that right now. So RMA returns, I do not know what that is. Um, none of those look relevant. Weight loss products. So if I click that, it'll create its own ad group, but I wanna add it to this one. And how you do that is just click plus 26 keywords, add all these, add to ad group, and then choose Bing suggested bulk. And then all those will add. And then I can keep going through here and finding weight loss related keywords. So on page two, the CLA ad group right down here, I can add those as well. Let's keep going. Um, as you keep going through the pages, uh, the average monthly searches go down. It's kind of in order. So safflower oil ad group, that will probably be good. So I'm going to add these. Uh, let's keep going. So now we're getting down to like 2000 monthly searches. So I like to end it there, but I'm going to delete that and just type in weight loss because then it kind of brings up different uh, ad sets that I could choose from. Look at this one, weight loss ad group, 670,000 monthly searches, 288 keywords in here. I'm going to grab all them and I'm going to add it to the bulk. So I think we have a decent amount of keywords in here right now. My plan for the bidding strategy for the bulk ad group I'm obviously going to have my bid lower because I have way more options to get lower clicks but for my weight loss being suggested that's just one ad group kind of focused on weight loss so I might increase a bit on that so that's it for the keyword section and I'm going to save and go to ne uh, next step and then in the next video I'm going to show you how to write effective ads and some of the tips and tricks that I've learned throughout my years advertising on Bing that has allowed me to get an increased click-through rate writing ads myself. 
So I will stop the video right here and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.